good day ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of the 360 experience with myself thomas mabaso so guys the former leader of the anc and the former president of the country who is now the leader of the mk party jacob zuma is back on the news after suggesting that the country should get rid of its current laws and adopt the african laws so if you have been following the MK party, you would know that this is something that Jacob Zuma has been very vocal about, that the country needs to get rid of these current laws and we should adopt the African laws because according to Jacob Zuma, these current laws that we have, this current constitution that we have is not serving the poor majority of black people. And if we are serious about saving the majority of poor black people, we would get rid of these current laws and we would adopt the African laws. So for the longest time, people have actually been curious to learn about these African laws. People have been asking Jacob Zuma and say, what are these African laws are you talking about? Where can we actually read about these African laws? So hopefully, soon enough, the MK party will actually release these African laws that they always talk about. So recently, guys, Jacob Zuma was at an event and he was speaking about the same issue that the country needs to get rid of these current laws and we should adopt the current laws. And one of the questions that Jacob Zuma posed is that if we are free as the people, why are we not allowed to make our own laws so guys i'm going to play you this video of jacob zuma speaking about our current laws and how we need to get rid of the current laws and after that we are going to go through the comment sections because it looks like this time jacob zuma has finally got the attention that he wants from south africans so this is jacob zuma speaking about our current laws and why if we are free why are we not allowed to make our own laws there are things that I talk about, which I always ask the traditional leaders when I meet them. And the question I ask, if we have laws which were our instrument to rule, and I think we did, what happened? At times I have a problem to face judges and everybody else because I don't think they do what we did. If we are free, why are we not allowed to make our own laws that go with us and take those who are visitors to be seen to be under our laws. I would still have a problem if uh, you don't deal with these matters, your uh, excellencies, because I always feel bad that people who are under you are starving. <coughs> they have and I believe in a South African free state, the traditional leaders should lead the changing of the lives of our people. Yes, we do have traditional leaders and we respect them. But I think our friends who came to us don't. So guys, this is Jacob Zuma speaking about our laws. And you heard from the man, Jacob Zuma actually believes that uh, the traditional leaders are the ones that should be leading the people. According to Jacob Zuma, these current laws that we have, he has categorized them as the Roman Dutch laws. The country needs to get rid of them. So the traditional leaders are the ones that are supposed to lead the people. And again, Jacob Zuma posed a question. He said that if we are free as the people, why are we not allowed to make our own laws? So it looks like this time Jacob Zuma has finally got the attention that he has been yearning for 
from South African. So we're going to go through the comment section and to get to, to, to understand how South Africans feel about Jacob Zuma saying that we need to get rid of our current laws and adopt the African laws. So the first comment is from Le Tabo. Le Tabo says that this old man is annoying. <laughs> this is what Le Tabo says. And the second comment, guys, I don't know how to pronounce this name. I hope that some of you will actually help me to pronounce this name. The guy says that after nine years of being the president, he only asked this now. Zuma thinks we are all living in Kwa Dunuza. <laughs> so Aleta says that this Zuma is determined to take us back to the dark ages before he goes to jail. So Aleta actually believes that Jacob Zuma is going to go to jail and Jacob Zuma wants to take us back to the stone ages be before he actually goes to jail. There is a comment that I was really impressed about and this comment comes from Sandy Lemcb. Sandy Lemcb says that these ideas only sound smart to the uninformed. Clinging to the past has been the downfall of many. We should be optimizing modern systems and adapting for them for our future, not dwelling on what might have been if colonial colonialization didn't happen. Old systems have been put on the park for too long and have not been evolving. Example, what does pre-colonial law say about cybersecurity, privacy or illicit financial flows, etc.? This elder needs to retire and stop pretentious nostalgia. He wasn't even part of that era. So Sandila says that no man. These African laws that Jacob Zuma is talking about, they don't say anything about the, the, the illegal cigarettes. They don't say anything about the cyber security and so on. Ishmael says that old age is a problem. Smarty says that what a bitter old man. So Jack says that like the laws that allow two brothers to kill a third and then become the king of the Zulus. I don't know what actually Jake speaks about on this comment. And Morse says that whenever this old Madala opens his mouth, nonsense comes out with all due respect. <laughs> so it looks like there's another person who was actually familiar with what Jacob Zuma was trying to say to the people of this country. And this person is Guza. Guza says that this goes to show how the ANC was captured by the neo-colonial forces and, the, and Zuma could not move according to his beliefs. The evidence is clear how they got rid of him and went after him. I am not saying he is clean, he is a clean man or he was perfect leader. But for a moment, let's consider the evil forces that he had to work against how organized and wealthy they are. To fight this, I believe he thought the Guptas would help him wrestle the power and influence. Was this what this was was this a strategy? So Guta actually believes that it's a good thing that Jacob Zuma worked with the Guptas. Jacob Zuma worked with all of those people. <laughs> ND8386 says that Zuma will only fool. <laughs> the fools. <laughs> Iskatulo say para. He says that he didn't change any provincial laws when he was the MEC and the member of parliament in KwaZulu Natal for five years. He didn't change any provincial laws when he was the deputy president and the member of the National Assembly for six years. He didn't change any provincial laws when he was the president for nine years. So guys, these are what the South Africans are saying to Jacob Zuma because Jacob Zuma has been talking about this issue for the longest time ever since he has been the leader of the MK party. This is one of the things that Jacob Zuma has been very vocal about. So Pell says that, wow, this is powerful. Those blacks who hate Zuma, I don't know why, seriously. So Pell doesn't understand why people hate Jacob Zuma. 
Mr. I says that Jacob Zuma spent years in the struggle against apartheid. In 1994, when South Africa transitioned into democracy, our constitution was born. Zuma was amongst the leaders of the ANC and he never objected to the adoption of the South African constitution. <coughs> so they say that, no, Zuma, why are you now talking about these laws and pretending like these laws are such a problem when you yourself didn't say anything when the constitution was actually adopted? So Dintuen Shai says that, it's funny that the old man is busy talking about ill about things that he could have easily influenced uh, 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 to be changed during his long periods as both the deputy president and the president of the country. And at one stage, he had the joy of a two-third majority needed to change such laws. So Dintuen says that Jacob Zuma, at one point you had the two-third majority and you didn't change any of these laws. Why you didn't change any of these laws? Mwato Tobejani says a useless man. He was the president for nine years and all he did was to enrich himself and the Guptas. <laughs> Zolani Neu says that this old Madala is boring. He was given a nine years to change, to pass all of these laws he's complaining about. What's worse, he refused to expropriate land without compensation. EFF gave him their votes. Instead, he went to Orania and praised the people of Orania as a community of interest. That's what Zolani says. Khabo says that, is he also counting his nine years while he was the president, did he try to make his own laws? <laughs> so guys, right now, I am just going through the comment sections and trying to show you what the South Africans are actually saying about Jacob Zuma being the president of the country and him actually suggesting that we should get rid of these laws that we have today and adopt the African laws. So people are still waiting to hear about the African laws that Jacob Zuma is talking about. What are these African laws that Jacob Zuma is talking about? And where can we read about these African laws that Jacob Zuma is talking about? So, so I think CR means that he says that 66% of South African population voted for him precisely to make the laws that benefits them, but he failed them. Now he is asking them a question. Lucas Moahi says that for, the, for 20 years or so, you were in government. Not once did you say this nonsense. Typical opportunist. When it suits your personal goal, you even forgot that you were once the president. So this is one of the biggest criticisms that Jacob Zuma has actually been facing because people were saying that, Jacob Zuma, you were the president of the country. Why did you speak about these issues when you were the president of the country? You never said a word about these issues when you were the president of the country. So Mukoni says that Zuma is annoying. After nine years of eating curry and dancing during his presidency, now all of a sudden he wants changes over the same systems he governed with. Man Mukoni is brutal. On Karabile, he says that he failed to do those laws for nine years. I am not convinced. Oleta says that this light bulb suddenly started working after he has been in office for almost 10 years. Why was he not switched on back? Why was he not switched back on then? He had the powers to do it. I don't get it. He had the powers to actually change these laws that he's actually talking about. Why didn't he do it? This is what the premier's comment is actually talking about. So another comment, comment comes from Niti. Niti means the truth. He says that nine years as the president and only because the ANC is trying to get him arrested, he now wants these conversations. Whoever follows this man is an idiot. Everything he is doing now is from his, himself and nobody. 
he knows he needs the support of the people to stay out of jail. So Iga says that this is clearly the logic of a man who never sat in a classroom where were those African laws when he was sworn in twice under the so-called settlers laws as the president and he served happily under it. Rubbish. He belongs in jail anyway. <laughs> So another comment comes from Roy. Roy says that this old man is very annoying. He was voted twice as the president to make the laws and he's now asking us nonsense. And the last comment guys that I'm going to read, it comes from Reggie. He says that we don't have we don't have that because of you, Zuma. You were busy stealing state's funds to enrich yourself and the Gupta brothers, forgetting your main purpose for being the president of the country. So, guys, these are just some of the comments coming from South Africans saying to Jacob Zuma that you were the president of the country. You didn't say a word about these laws. And today, you are no longer the president of the country. You are now making noise about these settlers laws these roman dash laws you didn't have a problem being the president of the country being sworn twice and you didn't say a word about these laws so guys what do you think man about jacob zuma saying that we need to get rid of our current laws and adopt the african laws so please tell me what you think go to the comment section don't forget to hit that like button and the most important part subscribe 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 my name is thomas mabaso i will see you next time bye bye Thomas M.